Hello, this is a short video explaining how you can quickly extract SAP table data into Tableau using DVW Analytics Extractor for SAP. Let's start in our XCS console. This is where you configure connectivity to your SAP systems. You can see here that it's very similar to your SAP logon pad containing all your different systems and their configurations. We use the configuration button to create a particular connection to a table within SAP. If we hit create, then you can see we have options to connect to tables or BW. We enter a specific name for our connection. Once we've done that, we select the system that we want to connect to. In this case, I'm going to use an ECC system and you can see that my credentials have been retained, encrypted of course, and when we ping the system, we see that we have established connectivity. In the parameters tab, we now define the table that we want to extract data from. I'm going to look at BKPF, which is the account document header table. And if I do a search, then I can find tables with the same text string. And when I say OK, then the metadata for that table is brought back into the console. You can see that we have key fields and data fields, and we can choose which ones we wish to be included in the export into Power BI. Also, we have secondary indexes, which can be useful so that we have efficient searches to pull back data in a performant way. If we right click, then we can add a filter on particular data. So here for fiscal year, we can add 2019. And we can see that now the data only for 2019 will be extracted. Of course, we can add other filters. So let's try document type. And again, we right click add a filter and edit that filter. This time we get a list when we search because specific values are maintained within the SAP system. And I can search within these values for the ones that I want and select a given value or a range of values. Or I can choose a specific selection list. So I'll choose three values here. And I'm also going to use the split functionality of the tool. This enables the calls to be broken down wherever you see true into separate calls to SAP and so reducing the impact on your backend system. I've now executed that call and you can see that sample data has been brought back for 2019. I've restricted the call to 200 lines but I can increase that or if I put a zero that gives me all the data within that filter. I can now save my configuration and use that within Power BI. If I now close this window and go back to my configurations list, I can refresh that list and I'll see that the new one I've just created, the new table connection, is included. I can right click and copy the OData URL and it's this that gives me connectivity in Tableau. And so within Tableau, I add a new connection for OData, pasting in my URL and adding in my credentials so I can get access to my data. And once that's done, I sign in and the old data pulls back the metadata around our connections. And you can see here are my connections. And I can drag any of those in, including the, the one I've just created. And then I can visualize that data within Tableau. That takes a few seconds. But when it comes across, then you'll see the fields I selected in my connection are now available for my Tableau analytics. So for instance, I can drag those into a table view, pass in account and very quickly have analytics within Tableau. And I can see my complete data set, of course, by clicking on view data. And here's everything that I've extracted from SAP. So that was a very quick three, four minutes, and we've already got data within Tableau. Hopefully that was interesting for you. If you'd like to see more, please visit our website at dvwanalytics.com.